Friday, and I'm here to break down the Friday workout. Our sole focus today is strength. So our main priority is getting stronger and moving well. We are not looking to just go pedal to the metal and just be dripping sweat, crawling on our hands and knees at the end of the workout. Uh, but instead, we should be focused on executing really high quality movement. Getting, and we'll leave the gym feeling good. We'll get a little pump. We'll feel pretty swole. Get a good little muscle burn. Um, but like I said, we're not going to be just you know completely drained and exhausted. Your body, your your nervous system will feel that. You are definitely getting a workout, but you're not gonna feel that you know that typical classic CrossFit feeling where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so dead. Uh, but instead, we're just really focused on hammering good movement and getting stronger. So let's talk about the strategies for success in this workout and the actual movements themselves. So we are doing an EMOM for each of the three movements that we're doing. Uh, the first movement is the squat clean. We're only going to be doing two squat cleans per minute, which will really allow you to A, move with really good form, and B, move with max intent. I'm talking aggressive pulls, I'm talking really stable catches, and powerful drive out of the squat to stand that weight up. So like I said, two squat cleans per minute. Our starting position is the same as it would be with the snatch, at least when it comes to our feet and our butt and our chest. Uh, but our hands are gonna be a little bit more narrow. So hands are right outside the hips, butt is low, chest is up. We bring it patiently just like we would in the snatch. And then aggressively when we get under it, we wanna think fast elbows. So we don't get pinned by the bar, especially if it's really heavy. So think fast elbows and we stiffen up push the ground away and stand that thing up. The second EMOM that we will be doing will be the push press. There will only be four push presses per minute. Uh, we did a ton of push presses last cycle, so I'm really pumped to see uh, how that translates to today's workout with your newly found strength. So on the push press, you guys all know, we take a big brace. Well, we have to power clean it first, uh, but then we brace our bellies. We dip, drive, and lock. We dip drive and lock, really ensuring we have a good lockout overhead with those arms fully extended. This is your time to reset and brace yourself for the next lift. So sip some air and now create some pressure in your tummy, control and drive, load. Explore. For the third and final EMOM of the day, we will be doing some pull-ups five pull-ups to be exact every minute on the minute. Uh, for these pull-ups, we're gonna give you guys a lot of freedom to choose whatever variation you feel is most appropriate for your current strength or skill level. So if you're super advanced, that might be wrapping your feet around a 15 pound dumbbell and doing some nice solid strict pull-ups. Or if you are still beginning or you're still developing strength in that pulling pattern, then maybe you'll do some jumping pull-ups where you're gonna get a big jump and a powerful pull, getting that chin over the bar, and then ensuring that you control the way down and don't just kind of pencil dive down into that plate. Uh, you can also do banded, you can do kipping, or good old fashioned strict body weight pull-ups. Whatever variation you feel is appropriately challenging but also doable is going to be uh, up to you to choose today. So that's all I got for today, guys. The goal of today, just as a reminder, is to get strong. It's not to get super fatigued, super tired, but it's to leave the gym feeling like you got a good pump, you're feeling pretty swole, and you're ready to go win the day. So that's all I got. I'm Coach Ty. I am signing off. Peace out.